Hello and welcome to Epic TV. So today I'm here to enlighten you to a rising star in the dry tooling and ice climbing world. She's done routes from M12 up to M14, which is she's the first lady to have ever done Ironman, which was only opened last year by a man called Robert Jasper. Today it's Lucy Hirosova. Hello everybody. Tell us all about this uh, M14 Ironman story. I wasn't thinking that I could make it. I was thinking, oh, maybe next time or next time. And then I just climbed and uh, I was like, okay, I can climb more and more and more. And then I, uh, I was uh, clipping the uh, one quick draw before the last. And because the tries before I wasn't clipping the last quick draws, I don't know the few meters. I'm, I mean like a two, three meters I didn't climb before. So I was like super stressed and super shaking and everybody down was like cheer cheering me like, come on Lucy, you can make it. And I was little like hysteric, like I didn't climb the last, how I could <laughs> do it? Help me, help me. How many attempts did it take you? It was about four tries, but the beginning is the same with the other route. We've actually got the, the video of Robert Jasper here, which we'll just mm -hmm. put on. So this, this level that you're pushing to in uh, mixed climbing, mm -hmm. uh, how does it compare to the likes of fellow Czech Adam Ondra and the limits that he's pushing in rock climbing? Are they comparable? I don't know, it's very different. <laughs> Actually, I don't, I, I don't compare this. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, Adam, uh, he's my friend and I think he's much, much uh, bigger star than me. <laughs> More recently, you obviously just finished the World Cup in ice climbing. Uh -huh. um, of which at the fourth stage you actually came first and I think you came fourth overall in total which is a really good achievement. Are you happy with your performance there? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm happy because it's very hard to show that you are the best because there's a lot of stuff which could happen. Uh, I don't know, for example, uh, eyes broken or just you could slip very, very easily okay. and it's, um, you, it's more stress, stressful than uh, lead climbing or boulder. For me, I feel like this, so I'm happy for, the, for these results. But uh, on the last World Cup in Kirov, I was quite sad that I was on the third, third place. I noticed that there's maybe about two meters of ice mm -hmm. and then you kind of get into some... Is it just wood for the rest of it? Yeah, usually it's there are a lot of wood. Yeah. It's, um, I'm not happy for this because uh, I really prefer more the like real ice climbing. So yeah. Yeah. when we have, I don't know, for example, in Kirov, when it's the ice block no, with no holds, you know, mm -hmm. and you have to kick it, nice. it's, yeah. much, it's, it's much better for me because I'm more like an ice climber. It looks really difficult to put your crampons, they, they, they look like modified crampons that you're, you're trying to jab into the wood, like what's the difference between those crampons and the normal ones that other mountaineers might take out to climb ice? For the competition they are very light and uh, you are also very frozen in these shoes because you feel very cold, cold. How hard do you think you can climb, like what's the next level, how far can you go? Uh, one guy in French, he uh, said me that he will be bold the route for me and it will be harder than Iron Man. And so I will see, I'm wait waiting. <laughs> Maybe, what, what, what name do you, could you give it if you're the first person? Uh, Iron Lady. <laughs> Iron Lady, nice. Yeah. Very original. Thanks okay. for not being a dry tool, you know, yeah. and keep it nice on the ice. Okay, perfect. And uh, I've been Matthew, you've been Lucy, yeah. everyone else has been watching. Thanks okay. for coming, really appreciate talking to you, it's been great fun. Bye. See you next time. <laughs>